Hi guys, welcome to my first build update for the Ravel 132nd scale Messerschmitt ME262B1 U1 Night Fighter. This is my entry into the Luftwaffe group build that I'm hosting on the Ravel fan club page on Facebook. So, as always, I start off with washing the sprues, the ceremonious bathing. I then took parts off the sprues all the parts for sub assemblies, clean them up, smooth down rough surfaces, etc. Then put these sub assemblies together, got them on cocktail sticks. That's the lower wing assembly and wheel bay assembly. That's the upper frame that goes on top of the uh, uh, cockpit area with the rear instrument panel and that's wheels and other parts drop tanks that have assembled there we have all the the horizontal stabilizers elevators flaps and ailerons all assembled everything on cocktail sticks washed with isopropyl alcohol And then I put the wheel bay assembly into the lower wing assembly. And then took some black surface primer, airbrushed the inside of the cockpit, uh, fuselage off, sorry. And then airbrushed all the parts, engine parts, cockpit parts, and any internal surfaces that are going to be exposed. And then moved on to using the RLM2 Grau to do the machine gun bay area there at the front of the fuselage the wheel bays, internal wing areas and there's the gun bay, some um, engine panels there and other panels, gun bay covers etc next I moved on to RLM 66 Schwarzgrau airbrushed the insides of the fuselage arms with that toned it down with white to do highlights and followed that up with all the cockpit parts and then moved on to using some metal colours aluminum and steel to do the engine parts and the underside of the machine gun bay painted the seats took out the Eddard steel pre-painted seat belts glued those into place to dress the seats up and then detail painted all the parts for the cockpit interior that's the two consoles front and back just a couple of shots of that and this is the upper frame that sits on top of the fuselage with the rear console there and that's the uh, pilot's floor steering column and uh, pedals that's the pilot's instrument panel that's all the gun bay parts painted that's the underside of the gun bay, painted aluminum. And that's the assembly of the gun bay now. I put some weight, it advises 25 grams of weight so it doesn't become a tail sitter. That's either side of the wheel bay on the underside. That's all the engine parts painted. There are the wheels, the wheel struts, actuators and wheel bay doors all painted. And the engine cowlings, wheel bay cowlings and some small parts that go into the wheel bay area. I took some Galeria matte varnish, matted down the inside of the fuselage halves and all the cockpit interior. Then took some semi-gloss and airbrush that onto parts that are going to be seen that I want to weather. So they've got a semi-gloss finish now. The engines are given a semi-gloss because it's metal colours, give them a sheen. And then there they are assembled, but some of the areas that are exposed are going to be weathered. They're the two seats with the matte varnish on now. They're the two side panels for the cockpit, weathered there, dry brush with some aluminum and a dirt wash. 
that's the instrument panel now complete and I put gloss clear coat in the dials as you can see there to make it look like we've got glass fronts now we've moved on to the cockpit assembler the front bulkheads on the seats are in and you can see I've done some dry brushing with aluminum and I've weathered the floors make them look dirty and worn and just a couple more pictures to show that I think it looks all right that's the upper frame completed that sits above the cockpit with the rear instrument panel that's done now weathered again dry brush with aluminum and a dirt wash applied there's the cockpit now assembled into the starboard side wall the port side is laying down on the side there just a couple images before it's closed up completely and there it is port side wall is now in place so that's the full cockpit tub assembled and again I took a few more pictures before we said goodbye to it and assemble it into the fuselage elves yeah I'm pretty happy with it the Eddard seat belts make it look nice there we go the gun bay is now glued into the port side fuselage off followed by that assembling the um, starboard side off taped together and that upper frame glued in place and then the cockpit tub is glued in from the underside that's a close-up view of the cockpit tub in place now and just these last two views next I flipped it over and I glued some parts into the underside of the cockpit tub there these parts will be seen through the wheel bay the main wheel undercarriage bay I then put some extra nose weight in front of the machine gun bay because that area is going to be covered up I then put the horizontal bar in, painted it RLM 76, that's where the radar antennae attached to, the nose cone and the front machine gun bay cowlings were glued in place and taped till set. I then put a black primer on the upper wing leading edges where the slats are going to glue to. I primed the inside of the slats and the front edges of the elevators, rudder, flaps, ailerons, etc. And those areas were then covered with the RLM2 grout. Toned down a bit with white. And there's the leading edges of the wings where the slats are going to sit on. And the underside face of the slats and the leading edges of the ailerons and flaps, rudder, elevators, etc. I then gave those surfaces a semi-gloss clear coat including the wheel bay area because they're all going to be weathered at a later stage you can see the leading edge of the wings shiny there so those parts will be weathered at a later stage it's now on to the wing assembler got all the parts together assembled the port side upper wing to the lower wing assembler followed by the starboard side upper wing and then glued that assembly to the fuselage assembly taped it until it was set and then glued in the horizontal stabilizers the elevators and the rudder and that was followed by the flaps and the ailerons and then the last thing to do was put the leading edge slats on in the open position as you can see there and there are the two gun bay cowlings they were temporarily located with putter because I'm going to have them in the open position at, at the final assembler I then glued in the pylons for the drop tanks and then started on with the engine assembly putting the cowlings around the engines and there you can see them fully assembled but those two covers are just temporarily located with putter because those areas are going to be open then on to the greenhouse and this is where I come to my first point of contention 
the external surfaces are smooth. There's no raised framework, so it makes it difficult for masking. So what I had to do was, on the inside, they do have raised framework. You have to carefully paint that, and I did with black primer, followed by the RLM 66 Fouts Grau. And then using Tamiya tape, carefully cutting it and shaping it to the, and lining it up with those black edges of the internal painted frames. Painting the butt, so that's my only point of contention so far with this kit. I didn't like it. I then glued the windshield in place and temporarily located the two um, canopies with uh, by just tack gluing in the corners. They're going to be in the open position at the final assembly. I then moved on to temporarily locating the wheel bay doors and the exposed areas were uh, masked with um, damp tissue. I then masked the front of the engines with rolls of tape and that was followed up by masking the rear engines. Again, I did that with damp tissue, as you can see there. That was followed by moving on to masking the uh, exposed surfaces of where the leading edge slats are, and then gluing in the port side lens for the navigation light, painting it red, and doing the same with the starboard side lens, which is green. And those lenses were then masked with liquid masking film. After that, I cleaned the old model down with isopropyl alcohol and primed it with a dark grey Steinol Res primer. That's the underside. I also primed the uh, drop tanks and wheel bay doors. So that's it for this update, guys. Thanks for watching. Next update, we'll move on to painting, decaling, weathering and final assembly. So until then guys, happy modeling. Talio chocks away.